Hello, kids. I am so full. I just ate a huge dinner, but there is still food left over. I never like it when there is food remaining. Uh. Excuse me. I was supposed to be learning about long division with what they call remainders, but I told myself I do not like remainders, so I decided to eat all this food instead of learning about it. Oh. Maybe you guys can help me. Will you help me learn about long division with remainders? Great, then maybe I will not feel so sick after learning this. Sometimes things cannot be divided equally, and there are some left over. One example I remember was when my sisters played hula hoop with their friends. There were four girls in all, but only three hula hoops. This meant that one girl could not play with the hula hoop at the same time. Just like this situation, division does not always come out equal, and that is when we have what we call a remainder. A remainder is the number left over after dividing the two numbers that cannot be evenly divided. Now if you watched my last video on long division, you will remember the funny acronym we used. Do monkeys sell crispy bananas? This helps us remember the steps to long division. Here we have 25 divided by 8. The first step is asking ourselves if 8 goes into the first digit that is closest. Does 8 go into 2? The answer is no, so we put a 0 up top or leave it blank and pull in the next digit. Does 8 go into 25? and how many times without going over. If we know our multiplication facts, we know that 8 does not go into 25 evenly, but 8 times 3 equals 24, and that is the closest we can go without going over. We divided, and now we do multiplication. 3 times 8 is 24, and it goes directly under the dividend of 25. We now move on to subtraction. 5 minus 4 equals 1 and 2 minus 2 is 0. Our next step is to check and see if 8 goes into the number we just got, which is 1. The answer is no. 8 does not go into 1 because 1 is smaller than 8. The last step is to bring down, but there is nothing left to bring down. The question is, what do we do with our leftover, or remainder? We will take this number 1 and put it up here with our answer. The letter R means remainder and the 1 is what was remaining after solving the problem. So the quotient, or answer, is 3 with the remainder of 1. We now know that 8 goes into 25 three times with the remainder of 1. Great job, guys! I am feeling so much better already! Let's do one last problem today. 163 divided by 5. Now this might look scary, but taking it step by step will make it easy. Pause the video and work the problem on your own, and come back and join me. The first step is to ask if our divisor of 5 goes into the first digit, which is 1. The answer is no, so we put a 0 up top, or leave it blank, and pull in the next digit. Does 5 go into 16, and if so, how many times? The answer is 3 times. Now we multiply. 5 times 3 gives us 15. Now we subtract 16 minus 15, which gives us 1. We check if 5 goes into 1, which it does not, so we are doing good, and the last step is bring down. We bring down the 3, and it makes 13. We start the steps all over again with division. How many times does 5 go into 13 without going over? 2 times, so we write the 2 above. Now we multiply 5 times 2, which gives us 10. Subtraction is next, and 13 subtract 10 is 3. The next step is to check. Does 5 go into 3? And the answer is no. The last step is to bring down, but there is nothing left to bring down, so we are done. But we still have the 3 at the bottom as our remainder. What do we do with the 3? We write it up above with an R in front of it. We now have our answer. 32 with a remainder of 3. We did it! I am feeling a lot better, and now I know I can have a remainder or leftovers. Now can somebody roll me over? Oh, I'm still full. Oh. Okay guys, you have a few options here. You can click the video on my right, or on my left, to watch more awesome stuff. If you want to subscribe, click the big red subscribe button below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose. Uh, 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 uh.
Uh-oh. What?